welcome to the uh, Education Post Business School video interviews. I'm with uh, Yin Hui, a second year student at the Anderson School of Management at UCLA. Yin, thank you very much for being with us. My pleasure. Can we begin a little bit with uh, your background before coming to Anderson? So I was born and grew up in China. I went to Zhejiang University, majored in psychology. And during that time, I was the research assistant in the National Laboratory of Human Factors, focused on cognitive psychology. And after that, I have several uh, years working experience in auditing and a management consulting firm before coming to UCLA Anderson. So why business school and, and why California? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> so I have several reasons, and the first one is about education because I came from a more like academic background, so I really want to have a more systematic uh, education in business in order to help me uh, better understand the whole aspects of it. And uh, MBA program is one of the most efficient way to make it. And the second reason is about UCLA. It's because I always believe in the global village. So although I have some, uh, some experience in working uh, in the international team, I still want to explore more. And the United States, especially Los Angeles, is well known for its open and uh, diversified cultural environment. So I think that's the best place to come. And it doesn't disappoint me. So here, <laughs> when you walk around, you can see people with different colors and different uh, personalities. And I have a lot of chance to work with them, to learn from them. Right. Yeah. And, and then three reasons why you chose Anderson to do your MBA? Yeah, the first two, as you can, uh, as I mentioned, is first education. Uh, Anderson is well known for its good education on the business side, especially that they have a top level uh, uh, the professors and we have a diversified uh, community of our students you can learn from them. And the second one is the place, you know. The place is just amazing. You see the weather, it's, it's so comfortable and uh, people all enjoy working here. And also, I guess the weather help people to be so open and they are very collaborative here, I have to say. And a third reason is more personal because um, seven years ago when I was still in Georgia University, I was the chairman of a art troupe. I played a arhu, a two-string Chinese traditional musical instrument. So that year I led the art troupe to came to the United States and uh, gave performances. We gave uh, performances in different universities including Anderson. That was an amazing experience, I have to say. The audience, the audience and the environment is just so good. So it is kind of a personal connection that which motivated me to apply for Anderson. Now whether your passions are uh, in music or, or elsewhere, <laughs> how, how does the business school sort of bring that community together through clubs and associations and different activities outside of the classroom? Yes, there are a lot of um, uh, kind of student associations here and you can it's just based on your interest. You can choose the wine club or the more professional kind like the consulting club or the financial club. But you can choose everything that you want. And uh, people there are just so passionate that they organize the, the event every month or even weekly. So you can enjoy yourself here, not only in class to learn a lot about the business, but also outside of class to know people from there. What have been the biggest challenges uh, in giving up your career and coming back uh, to business school and integrating into this culture? Mm, <laughs> I have to say it's still the cultural differences. Um, although I learned my major is psychology, so I learn and understand the cultural difference. And I also have experience in, uh, of working in international teams. But uh, at the first weeks or even months when I come here, I still didn't feel comfortable especially the networking thing. Um, you know, because UCLA starts a little bit later than other business school because of the education system, the culture system. Uh, so right after the school starts, the recruiting starts. So I had to go to every recruiting event in order to get an internship opportunity. I was so uncomfortable because the networking here and uh, in China is just so different. Uh, because in China, generally, Chinese people are more like quiet and not that aggressive. And also we value modesty a lot, that we'll just wait until people to figure out your strengths, etc., but not tell them directly. But here I feel you have to show yourself and you have to tell people your background, your experience uh, at the first glance. So at that time I was just so uncomfortable, but uh, fortunately I have to say the career advisors and uh, the second years, they are so helpful. 
So they helped me a lot on the mock interviews as well as uh, talk with me about their culture, etc. Mm -hmm. And they encouraged me to get out of my comfort zone. I think that helped me a lot um, to get the, a lot of um, interviews as well as the internship and uh, also the full-time offer. What's been a highlight so far? Mm, it's actually hard to choose only one, but I will say my experience to help organize the WOO conference, which is the biggest uh, conference in UCLA Anderson, that is conference that, re that uh, related to the business between China and the United States. So last year, I, uh, I was in the leading team that uh, worked with the Center of Global Management from Anderson, and we uh, went out to uh, raise, to build the sponsorship with different companies and also reach out to the uh, entrepreneurs and uh, high-level executives in big companies to get them in to uh, help us to give the speeches, et cetera, and also talk with professors to uh, kind of, you know, to lead our panels here. And uh, last March, we had over 260 person to come to attend this uh, to attend this conference. I was so proud of uh, our team because, uh, although I have some experience uh, in or organizing the meetings and concert in China, but it is my first. It was my first uh, uh, time to organize a conference here. Uh, how does the school ensure that um, beyond the classroom, you're learning? Uh, skills for the business world? Is it company projects? How does that work here? Yeah, uh, so there are a lot of ways that Anderson provided to help us to uh, ab apply our uh, skills or knowledge that learn from class. So the first one is, I have to say, the AMR project that uh, I'm working on. It is like a real-world consulting project that you help the company to, uh, uh, to solve their real problems. So it is a two-quarter project that you really communicate and work with the company themselves to solve their problems. And I also work with your classmates to make it. Um, and in my team, it's very interesting. It's, again, it is diversified. Uh, it's a diversified background because we have five people in our team. One is from Spain, one is from United States, one is from Chile, and one is from uh, China, but with over nine years experience in Japan and myself. So it is very interesting that you can learn the different mindset and even behaviors from people with that background. And it's, uh, it's just really fun. Anderson, of course, is one of the top business schools mm -hmm. and very competitive to get a place here. So what advice would you have for applicants to the school? Mm, I will say first you need to understand yourself to know what you really want. And the second is do your research. Every school have their different kind of the personalities, and you need to know them from research. And the third part is be yourself. Mm -hmm. You'll find the one that match your best, match you best, and uh, you'll just uh, achieve your dream. Well, I hope that um, you achieve your dreams, and thank you very, very much for this interview. Thank you so much.